I love this property. It's it's so beautiful. I have five people picking my two tons of Roussan today. Looks like they're down there. We say this on a lot of things, but particularly the Roussan, the, the prettiest girl in the class, is always the smartest. So these are pretty good examples of the Roussan cluster and how uneven they ripen. So you can see some berries are, are raisins and some are really hard and green. It's just a real inconsistent ripening variety. So yeah, we certainly like the flavors. We get a lot of um, sort of almond and straw and beeswax characteristics from the Roussan. It's not really that tropical like Viognier, so we think it's a, a good match for, for Marsan and, and Viognier, the Roussan. This is our last, last round of whites coming into the winery, so we're looking forward to getting these to bed and Good starting morning. on the reds. Oh yeah, he's gonna run me over. Well, so far we've brought in uh, all of our Pinot Noir from the coast and our Pinot Gris, and today will be the last of the whites. It's been a pretty uh, relatively mellow vintage, pretty consistent, no crazy heat spells. And yeah, we're, we're looking forward to harvesting all the reds on this property. and. We've got our Bordeaux on the east side that we're probably going to bring in towards the end of October and early November and then yeah, I'll be good to go. It's kind of cool to get to work with all those varieties, you know, some people just focus on Rhones or they just focus on Bordeaux, so they really don't get the breadth of experience I think that we have with these three vineyards and all the different varieties, so I think it's a really cool, cool little, you know, opportunity, so we enjoy it. <laughs>